Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Make Sale, which is now out on Steam and you can buy. So uh, I'm very interested to see what has happened and changed. One initial note that I have is that the title screen music only lasts about a minute and a half and then stops and then that's it. There's no loops, there's no longer music. It's just once it's finished playing, it's finished playing, so... You're supposed to click on something within the first minute and a half, I guess. Uh, so all these things have been fixed. Lots of bugs, really, I think, honestly. Uh, it says continue, which I assume means we pick up where we left off. Not that I recall leaving off anywhere particularly good. I'm pretty sure we left off because I got myself stuck in the edge of the world. Um, let's find out where this leaves us. So we are... we have a boat that looks vaguely familiar. Did I build this? I might have built it. It's nearish the center of the things. Okay. Cool. Uh, I, I guess it will go. I can't remember how you sail either, honestly. Uh, set sail. Let's figure it out. It's time to try out your first boat. Try turning your ship so the wind hits yourself from behind. Okay. So, I mean, we just place, place the boat. Right, so, W, what is WS? It says WS to raise sail. Oh, W, oh right. W and S are raise and lower sail. Oh yeah, we got those, we got the interesting, you move the character, not the, sh you're steering the character, not the ship. So I have to pull to the left, to pull the rudder to the left, to steer the ship to the right. I remember these things. And our ultimate goal is to collect a bunch of doodads to make the storm go away. Is really where we're at on that one? So mechanically the same as what we saw before. I it did say worlds on the main menu. There was a button there that said worlds which suggests to me perhaps there are some other areas that aren't just this sail in the circle forever bit thing. I do have a very very quick flick through the Steam reviews um, <laughs> before I started doing this. They're, 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 there are mixed opinions on this game. Some people are like, this is a wonderful and serene and excellent game, and other people are like, I don't get it. It's frustrating and difficult. I'm not really convinced sailing was supposed to be easy, but, you know. It's the eternal balance, isn't it, to be struck. It'll make things accessible and also interesting. So, I... Need to get to places. It says return chimes to tower. I'm not sure where the chimes are. Are they at each of these islands? They used to be on the map, right? So if I just go for a swim. Oh yeah, it's got the Na oh yeah the narwhaly pointy bit on the front. That was totes mine. I remember putting a narwhal point on. Okay, so this definitely doesn't have anything. There is a... Well, there's a pink thing on the map. Which I'm interested as to what that actually implies. Uh, build and save. Uh, have we got any new things that we didn't have before? I presume we probably still have similar things. We've got a bunch of planks. We have some body bits. Are those barrels symmetrical? They're sort of not. Can I... I seem to recall there being like some actual attachment points. Is there no... Oh, there's our attachment points. Okay, okay. Except they're gone again. Huh. It shows it briefly. I don't know what you gotta press to toggle those on and off. Or maybe it only shows those on the... Maybe it does only show that on the top surfaces. Because I actually want this on the underside of things. No. Nope. Have I broken the ship forever? Great. That's almost like that. Not quite like that. Not like, uh, actually, not like that at all. More like that. And that's exactly back where I came from. That. 
is better, I think. Okay. I don't think I've changed how I was working, but it seems to be functional now. Okay. Cool. The bow is a bit wider, therefore, I don't know, maybe a bit more stable? One would imagine that that would be the case. I'd be inclined to head a bit further out. I mean, I think this world is pretty much the one we were messing around in before. I think when it said continue, we are actually continuing where we left off. But obviously there's a tutorial in there, or at least some tutorial bits that are like, yes, this is how you sail. Uh, this isn't gonna work. I have not sailed this well. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's swim back to this. <laughs> and make another one. So, this way. I can head further out, but the minimap doesn't seem to suggest I can actually go that far. There's a lot of fog of war type stuff going on out there. So I think it's just, I'm just going to run into the storm and it's going to like destroy me if I keep just heading out. There's some white edges on the mini map coming into view, which is that the storm? Is that the impenetrable bit? Although, no, this is getting pretty stormy, actually. There is wind and rain as we approach the, uh, the, the, the black wall on the mini-map. Yeah, this doesn't seem like this is going to end well when I get further than this. Oh! Going under! Going under. Okay, let, let's head back in. Let's head back in. It doesn't quite have the magnificent waves that utterly throw you around, sort of, um, Sea of Thieves style. But perhaps that's in the works. Maybe I just need to head into that central island to actually get things going. Let's try heading right back in. The way the left side of the ship is just sort of bouncing around is a touch on the disconcerting side. Actually, both both wing both wings are pretty flappy at this stage. Flappy boat. It'll probably add some structural integrity to that somehow. Oh, we're going to scoop us up some jellyfish, I think. Some jellyfish which make an odd thunking noise when you fly into them. Fly into them, sail into them, sail. have been playing too much uh, Worlds Adrift. Is that a phone box on the island? It does look like your old fashioned red telephone box. Should be an odd thing to find on the island. I think it's just a pillar with some intricate carvings lit slightly with red light. Looks like a phone box for a distance though.
Okay, so this guy here is going to be our save point for the island. Let's try and snag that. Oink. And we're broken. This is a very fragile ship. I mean, the nose bit is seems almost kind of sacrificial in some kind of ways. But then even the front half of the ship just goes, Oh, nope, nope, no, we're not attached anymore. Okay. Oh, I guess I have some chimes from somewhere. We just pushed back the storm. Excellent. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right. Progress. Somehow progress. I feel like we had made more progress than this before, but at the same time it also still feels like it just dropped us back in midway through progress. I don't know what to make of that. Uh, can I ha I want I want the message in a bottle. How do I read it? I cannot read it. I don't have the power. Okay, put me another ship. First ship. So there's one right out there. Where's the next one? So ideally... I would love to... No, 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 that way, not that way, not that way. Ideally, we want to kind of try and sail out this way. And keep the wind at broad reach. We're not going to get there very quickly, but... We will get there. Right? Or not? Or we're just going to stall it? Huh. Yeah, the ship has just come to a stop. It really is a very simplistic ship. I would like some manner of ship that can sail in more than... in more interesting directions than just with the wind, but... There was something with the triangular sail we messed around with before and it was utterly... Uh, incomprehensible to my, uh... my layman's mind. The problem with coming to this one first is it means we now have to do a whole friggin' lap of the island to get out to the other one again. Yeah, that one has a message in a bottle as well. And some bits. Let's take the bits. What is that? We got a roof. Cool, cool, cool. And a pole with eyes on it. Wonderful. And bye, boat. See you later. I should probably fill the sails. Is there? Are there some controls? Because I want to know what you do with a message in a bottle. Now these are control options. They're not control buttons. Uh, da -da -da. Run by default. Yes. I want to run by default. Also, you can just change how fast you walk. That's a weird slider to see in a game. I've never seen a game that's just like, how fast would you like your character to walk? Huh. Can we just make them automatically walk really fast? Seems like that would cut down. Yeah, that, that seems like that cuts down time getting everywhere. Oh, that's the chime we needed. Okay, cool, cool, cool. They do... May, maybe that's a little unwieldy, though. They, they kind of zip around like... Like a crazy person. I wonder if that changes how fast they swim as well then, because that means you could probably make make it to land faster if you uh, you know end up overboard. Uh, well, uh, what what have we got to work with? Things that provide lift, barrels, utilities, lanterns. Ooh, I think I complained before that you couldn't attach lanterns on here. 
You totally can now. They've changed that so you can put lanterns on here. Brilliant. Those are good. I like those lanterns. Uh, they shouldn't be, like, right on the edges, though. Like, here's good. Are they snapping to points or are they... No, they're just, they're just snapping to whatever. I guess things can just go wherever you want to place them whatsoever, but I get, but if they don't have a snapping point... That's not snapping to that. If they don't actually snap to something, are they attached? Or will they just fall off the moment we set go, press go? Because <laughs> that is not where... <laughs> Depth perception, dang it! Maybe there is only one snapping point on the edges there, then. What else we got? Movement. I could put another sail on it, but that would make it go... Oh, it's the big sail, isn't it? And it catches enough wind to tip a small boat forward. I do like that they put that... that they, they put that um, warning in there. Oh, interesting. I'm just noticing that all the bits have... Like, a density thing going on. So, overall, your ship... So a certain part might be heavier than water, but overall your ship then has like a complete density thing, which I guess is up here. My ship must be called Kyle's Rock. So if your ship's density is heavier than the density of water, it will sink. And some parts will be presumably quite dense. I imagine a lantern? Oh no, lanterns would float for some reason. Um, barrels are very light. If I built my ship entirely out of royal blue chests, it would probably wind up at the bottom of the ocean. The hulls themselves are actually heavier than water, so they would theoretically sink? The only thing keeping it afloat, really, is the barrels. Huh. Well, that's an interesting way to set, the, to set things up. I like that. Uh, right, onwards to the next place, I guess. Nope, oh, that is not attached. The other one is, though. <laughs> sure, why not? So I wonder if I can... I might end up screwing it up. I kind of want to curve inwards and, like, hug the island to come back out around to the next one. That might be a really bad idea. Rather than going the full, like, orbit, can maybe trim some distance off. Although, because I'm now not running exactly with the wind, it's also making it go slow, so... Oof, I need, I need advanced ships. I need to get some bits, man. I need to be able to make them more interesting. They do have sky whales. There's something that has been implemented before. Uh, what will the drift manage to get theirs in? Never mind that this is an aquatic game, and therefore, actually, really, we should have whale whales, not sky whales. But sure, whatever. <laughs> it's all good. Is there a way to zoom out on the mini-map? That I don't know. Mm, not certain on that one. Uh, it would be nice to be able to see those rings on the map to see sort of how far out from the central island I am versus how far I need to be for the next objective. Not that I can see the objective yet. No! Jellyfish! Okay, there's our objective. I'm gonna pick up some jellyfish, aren't I? Oh no. Oh, well, they're coming along for the ride. Right, so I need to. St I, de I definitely need to start trying to steer out a bit. Otherwise, I'm gonna. I'm gonna miss the island, I'm gonna come up short. 
Yeah, it's it's a ways out. Okay, that's finally on the map. I think if we can kind of maintain this trajectory, we should be okay. Anything over 160 degrees is considered still running speed, i.e. with the wind. It's when we reach broad reach that it seems to slow down. Oh god, I've got a pair of pink jellyfish adorning my hood like a pair of pink jellyfish. I don't want to take you far from home, sorry. It's interesting the way all the music in this game just seems to be... It plays, and then once it's played, it stops, and there's no more- Oh! <laughs> he says as more music cuts in, okay. After I set sail, there was like, the music played, and then it seemed to stop. Not sure what's triggering when it does and doesn't play then. It could be Minecrafty, just sort of, hey, it's random. Or specific times of day? having weird bits of sort of dead air as it were. It's just odd. Right, uh, there goes my barrels. I didn't need those anyway. Barrels were overrated. Not as good as chimes. Woo! Is that all we got on this here, on this here island? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Okay. This is good. Nothing really to add to this. I... Want to be away from the rocks? Definitely. And... Bye, Lantern. Oh, I should probably fix that one day. And I want to be right back in. So you're going to kind of come to a stop if I try and go too far in, but otherwise this, this is quite a long way to just spiral back in. Slowly and steadily. Yeah, keeping it sort of 155 degrees. Maybe is, a, is pretty respectable. If I go much below that, I do start to lose the wind. Don't want to tear my boat off on these rocks. Okay, bring her around. That is too far. Kingdom for sale that I can angle into the wind. I have a passing familiarity with that because that's how sailing mechanics work in most sailing-ish games. If they're not if they're not done if they're not controlled automatically for you, it's still how it works. Usually, like one big square sail or a few big square sails that just angle towards the wind. See your pirates of the burning sea. See your Assassin's Creed. I think uh, definitely your Sea of Thieves is just turn the sail so the wind's blowing into it. Where am I? Where am I even going? Why? Why am I going that way? What is happening? I'm doing this wrong. And oh!
Come now. I can probably swim that, right? I hope so, because if I can't, that's a problem. Because <laughs> I'd probably spawn right back where I came from, right? That was a long way in as well. Cool. Chimes returned. Pushed back the storm. Uh, okay, we've got some more things. I guess the blue things represent those jars that I haven't figured out what you do and how you interact with them. Red is more chimes. Turn to the last build station. Ooh, could I just... Ooh, that, that could be interestingly cheaty. So if I just press R, would this just take me way back out? Rebuild. Where was I last? I was out by... Oops. My mouse is not constrained to the window, it seems. Uh, so where am I building? Who knows? Who really knows? Uh, let us set sail. And it is. It has spawned me by these rocks. Huh. That is mildly cheaty, I think. I'm quite close to some that I need to get to. Can I... Can I go with this? Can I get to that? Maybe. Am I, am I getting any wind here? Not really. Just get an oar out and just steer it a little bit. I said I was a running angle a moment ago. I'm kind of not. This is a... Uh, what do you call it? Beam reach. Yeah, this is definitely thoroughly beam reach. Um, okay. Let's, let's try placing this again. I mean, I absolutely want to get to that island, but... I think it's going to be tricky. That one, unfortunately, is still very close as well, and it's just going to be impossible to get to. So I'm just going to have to do, like, pretty much a full lap, I think. Um, I'm definitely losing the wind here. But we're still moving! This might work. I could just try and swim for it. I've completely lost the wind. Oh, surface! Surface! I have no way to get back into my ship, have I? Oh, right, okay. Just climb automatically. Alright, swim! Swim, swim, swim! Yeah, the player movement speed, I think that does affect swimming as well. Oh, that's good. Yes. So I can get to land from miles away. And my ship's actually caught the wind now. Would you believe it? Would you believe it? Um, so, yeah. Should be able to save there. We'll get a, get a rib. We'll get a tree log. We will get a chime. We'll still not quite figure out what these do, or how one interacts with them. Art rebuild. No? I'm just pressing buttons to see if any of these are like, pick up bottle, and read bottle, and do thing with bottle. No, no button does anything. Cannot do. Okay. Build and save. I would like to save here, after I cheated my way to the island. I understand they wanting to change movement speed for utility uh, on land. Sure, I guess it just saves trekking, I suppose, for the most part. Not that there's a lot of trekking involved. In the water, it literally makes a massive difference between whether you can sail, whether you can swim to land or not, and it's a little cheaty. 
So, uh, Kyle's Rock. What can we add? What, what does a rib do? A broken piece from a ship's hull. What does one of those look like? It's like one of those. I don't think we need that. Uh, X to erase? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, let me see. I, I'm wondering what modifications I can make to this thing, but at the end of the day, I don't know that there are any major modifications to do. The lantern that's not attached needs attaching, right? So, snap on that. It should be attached. I think that should be attached. I could put more of these planks in and make it wider and therefore more stable, I guess. What are these bits? That's a small blue frame. Put it back where it came from. Uh, do I have small blue frames? I was just wondering if I can mirror the front bit and the back bit to some degree. Although whether that makes any difference whatsoever is a whole other thing. Um, so blueprints are... okay, the blueprints are oh the uh, preset chips that you can just make, aren't they, out of recipes that you pick up. Okay. So I can make the unsinkable girl. Make a fire captain. Can I make these? Have I got all those? I got all those. Right, okay, I could make that. And uh, I just need more bits to get tortured violence and Mitzi's violence. Some very aggressive ship names. Uh, sure, let's build one of those then. This looks a lot like what I've currently got going on. I'm. I think this is very similar to what I've currently built. I mean, it called it Kyle's Rock, but frankly, I don't know. No, that is what I had. Okay, sure. The unsinkable girl just looks like Kyle's Rock, but without a sail, which makes me wonder how the heck it even goes. How, how does one propel this thing? Um... I don't know if any of these would be big enough to warrant the big sail. The fire captain is... Oh, the fire captain is bigger again. It's... Kind of, well, actually, it's very similar to Kyle's Rock again, but... With the extra chest on it. Making it only slightly less... Because that, that's, that's quite heavy, it's only slightly less dense than mortar. It's a sinking inclined ship. Can you part build a thing if you don't have it? No, it won't let you just like put it together and make... It'd be good if you could load in a blueprint that you only have part of the parts with and try to like fill in the blanks with other bits of equipment you had. That would be an interesting thing to do. Okay. Uh, right, what's my collection is all the things I have, sure. I guess let's just go with what we had. That's fine. Uh, there is one over that way. So let's head to that. I saw there was a lot of parts on that island, but uh, it's going backwards, so I literally can't reach it. Gonna have to come around to that. Hopefully there will also be lots of parts over here, though. Little bit of me is wondering about these rocks. Will there be anything interesting in here if I were to sail in here? I have a hazy notion that any islands actually had parts on them in the last build I played were at least denoted by like some sort of beam like the red ones it's like it's a, hey there's a thing that's interesting to you here you should check this out I oh shoot you know what there's a dock over there and I can see white things on the island which I think 
means there totally are things there, but there's no way for me to get to that now. I should just aim for another island? Let's aim for that island. That island, a little rock in the distance, that might have things on it. It could be worth looking at. Hard to tell from a distance and without any sort of aids. Just gotta explore, I suppose that is the nature of exploration, isn't it? We just check things out until we find something cool. Unnatural. So if this isn't an island, there's a big one over there that might be a good island. Although that might also be out in, I think that's out in the storm, so I might not be able to get to that. What I need to know is, is there somewhere to dock here? If there's somewhere to dock here, we're good. If there isn't, less good. <laughs> no, I think this is just a rock. That is just here to tear ships limb from limb. Also, that beacon is much further away than I thought it was. When I set sail for this, it seemed like it was not that far. But it just does not seem to be getting much closer. No, I tell a lie, that's on the mini-map now, isn't it? It is actually the next island. I was thinking that one looks slightly closer, but it is not. This is this is our next stop. If I'd been savvy about it, um, could I have gone to that one? No, probably not. If I'd gone to that one, I would not have been able to make it to this one. It feels like I might be able to get from this island to that island. Maybe. That island also looks big. Like quite big. That looks like a part. I'll take parts. Stop! This isn't going to end well. Oop. There goes my narwhaly bit. Okay. Climb up. Big yellow barrel. Okay, good for floating. Logs. Good. And things! Another chime. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Wait, I can't... Can I, can I build here? Uh-oh. Can I not build here? This is not an island I can... Oh. Is this not an island I can build at? Oh, I assumed I would be able to. I thought I could. Did not have a... I thought I saw there was a thing as we were approaching. There was definitely a save point marker. Oh, no! Are you kidding me? Oh no, I have to try and get this thing going again without being able to fix it. I hope I didn't break too much of it. Oh lord. I wonder if I can even turn it around. I think that island is reachable. I think that is like the next island. I think it's just within the storm. I think I could get to it if I so desired. Although that was the one I was looking at, wasn't it? I can't get to that. But I could probably get to that if I could turn my ship around. And I can't. Which means I need to respawn. Oh. Okay. I wonder if that's... I wonder if that island is swimmable from here. It doesn't seem very far away. Let me try it. I can see all the bits. There's like five things on this island. No, 
No. No. I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. No. No. They were so close. That was really close. Oh. I suppose that's fair. They didn't want me to do that. It's just that it is a very long way around. Okay. Let's try and cut across a little bit. Looking on the mini map, there's sort of the line spiraling out. There's, the, there's this concentric rings which sort of give you a sense of distance from the center. The lines moving around, which would sort of indicate the flow of the air. I'm not quite sure what the spiraling turbine blade kind of shaped ones are about. First of all, like, is that actually the wind? Is that maybe does the wind actually sort of generally push you outwards? But I don't think that's true. I think the wind is pretty circular, I suppose. I'm not sure what the uh, pink bit of the ring is. Is that like a progress meter? I've not been keeping an eye on whether it's gotten bigger or smaller. Okay, if I could reach that, there was totally a save point out there, that one. That'd be good to get to. No, because we stopped. That's the one I said we would get ruined on if I stopped at. There was a save point there, but as I've approached, that's disappeared, and now there no longer is one. Huh. Okay. Let's stop fighting the wind there, then. How strange. How strange they would just disappear like that. It's definitely there. That one has a save point. Look, we can see it. There is something here. I can still see there is still a, a marker there that says there's a thing here. Whether I can get to that or not is a whole other matter. Or is that just a ship bit? I were to stop my ship, am I within swimming distance of that? This is the fun question. So then I should be able to swim back out to my ship. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Climb up, climb up. Woo, woo. Okay. Yep. There's a bit. There's a big barrel. Woo. Okay, so I might actually be able to build... Could I build a bigger ship with bigger barrels? Oh no, are you kidding me? Am I actually gonna... How... How could I swim to land but not swim back from the land? How is that a thing? Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Um, no, actually, crap, I didn't want to do that. Go, I want to build, I want to build, I want to build a bigger ship. I want to build a bigger and better ship. Maybe. With 
bigger barrels comes bigger stability? Oh, big red barrels. Oh, no, they're exactly the same as the red ones. The only difference is... Oh, I, they're exactly the same, they're just a different color. But I guess now I have more of them, I could build a bigger ship. Alright, that's... Yeah, I, I fancy attempting to, like, build a new ship. Choose a base piece. Alright, this is literally where we start things. Okay, okay. So would a catamaran -y sort of design be a viable thing? These are fine questions. How does one rotate? Like... That. So then, can I clone a piece? No, I just have to keep taking bits. Okay. So you... Get joined on like this. The thing is, with other building games, everything's very forgiving. I have a weird feeling that if I build a crap ship, this game is going to let me know about it. If I were to take that and put that on the front... Is this an option? That's not quite right. Neither is that. God damn it. That okay? That's okay. Uh, the whole back end is not attached to it, like, right, though. Shoot. Um, how do I hold it? How do I get a group? There was definitely a thing for... Hold, grab, group. Okay. Like that. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. That's not, that's not, that's not done that. Okay. I see. Like that. So that's all lined up. That's cool. Then I can... Take one of these... Attach it on like so many attachment points. Like this, I suppose? Is that right? Yeah, okay. Let's put, put that there. Not that. Do I want that? Do I want these? Sort of, I suppose. Almost. That's better. Okay. Okay, okay. Now I've got enough of these to make this sizable. Ish. I could use, I could use more prows, in fact. How big's the roof? The roof's balanced, that's fine. The roof does not add or detract anything from the whole thing. Which is cool. We can just put the roof on for decoration then. I suppose if I... Ooh, there's a thought. Come off that roof. Uh, if we put the poles in, maybe? I don't have many poles to work with, actually. If I had more poles, I could, like, attach it to the top of the poles and it would look appropriate. I don't mind putting that there. That's okay. It's cute. Uh, right, I need buoyancy. We absolutely need plenty of that. So how do where 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 do where do these go? On the sides of things? Is that will that work? Are they attached now? I can't touch the middle of these decks, that's slightly annoying. Also, I think I can only, I'm only gonna get, like, one 
No, two. I'm going to get two on each side of the ship, right? Oh, and also this doesn't... This isn't remotely where I thought it was. What the heck? So I don't know why I'm sat here feeling like this should be bigger and better and sturdier than the other ship and therefore I can put a big sail on it. That's probably not the case. Oh no! I've, I've literally attached the whole friggin' front half of the ship again. Uh, uh, stop, undo, oh no, oh no, oh no. Like that. There should be a let go and put it back where it came from button. That's the thing. It's like, oh, I picked up a thing completely by accident. Oh, I see, for some reason that's that group. Just want that bit, yeah. And that. Now I can put another one of those on... Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. We've got some small blue frames. I don't know what they're for. They are not, not useful there. No. They're more sort of useful... Here, I guess? Yeah, that's... That, actually, that's... Yeah, not bad, actually. I like that. So, I'm going to try the big sail. Should probably just go smack bang in the middle, really, shouldn't it? It does want lanterns. Apparently the only attachment points are the ends, that's fine. If we just have another one just sat on the deck. I bet that's just going to fall right over, isn't it? Might as well put a narwhale horn on, obviously. And that's most of what we got. Will this go? Can we know? Well, it's called the last captain. Hmm. Hey, Tolkus. A good ship is hard to build. Recent Twitch chat names, huh? Oh, interesting. Is there like a Twitch integration that allows uh, chat to like suggest names for boats? Interesting. Interesting. It's a shame I'm not on Twitch, right? Hey, Pop Cannibal, put some YouTube integration in. I don't think that's a thing anybody does. I don't sure if that's a thing anybody can do. <laughs> not sure if that's an option. Uh, let us see how well this sails. That does not sail. That sinks. That sinks. What, is that just because it's not all attached? Yeah, it's just not attached to each other, is it? It's not sinking. It's just falling apart. So, not immediate. Also, it is actually quite heavy. <laughs> it's not immediately clear what makes a ship go and what makes it not go. Take. Hang on. Let me take the barrels then. Let me put the barrels. Where can I put this? Like here? That doesn't seem like that's going to work. I need to be. It needs to be like the midpoint of the barrel lined up with. Is that right? Would that be right? That might, that might be okay. Or it might just be really low in the water because all the buoyancy is up top. I don't know, I'm not a ship architect. Or at least not an advanced one.
Oh, density, yeah, dense, de overall density is slightly higher than water there. Huh. So, I can put one on the side of the ship. No, that's not the side of the ship. There. Okay, density is dropping. That's good. I think that's right. Okay, density is below that of water, which is what you want from a ship, really. That might go. That might go. Try and find out. Nope, it all falls apart. I think, has it fallen apart or is it just really, really super low in the water? I don't know. It's not actually fully detached from each other. Hey, it goes. I mean, it's actually not awful. It's not awful. It looks pretty bad. It doesn't look like it's gonna. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna stay together. But I think it's faster. It's sort of made of jelly. What I'm not getting from the building thing is much visual feedback on how structurally sound this is going to be. It feels like as soon as it drops into the water, half the ship just detaches from each other. It clearly hasn't, like, completely, but... If a bit snaps to something else, I sort of assume it has attached. And... it's... I don't know. Let's just go with jank. Let's say it's a bit jank, because that's kind of what it is. Is that a rock I've... that's a rock I've been to, isn't it? Because that had stuff on it earlier. In fact, that has a jar on it, I can see it is. And my narwhal thing is just come straight off, because that's just being dragged along here as well. It's a stupid ship. Oh, uh, well. I think it is faster than the last one. The big sail means we're catching more air, more wind, so we're getting we're, get, we're going faster, right? I suppose I should have made a note of how fast my old ships went. This is get, we're getting about eighteen, nineteen, call it, call it call it twenty knots peak. I don't think the last ship quite hit twenty, so we're going faster, somewhat. At what cost? Mostly our dignity. Uh, I guess it's those whole pieces, because the whole pieces are really heavy. Those were actually really dense pieces. That's probably what's making all the making the problem here. Those are the bit. Those are the bits that sink. The planks are okay. The barrels are okay. For some reason, the hull. Uh, I may be going the wrong way if I turn around this way, but let's see. Ooh, there's a bit on that island I can see as well. I can just see. I can see the little square telling me that it's on there. Oh no! I'm going to get dashed across these rocks as well. Oh no, 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 no! It's gonna tear my barrel off. Oh god. Oh no. This can't end well. There goes. Oh, there goes half the ship. There goes the other half. Oh well. I kinda wanna save this. What does manage mean? Manage. Can, can you save a ship? I can rename it. Hell's Rock, Fire Caps, and Last Caps are unsinkable. I think these are all sort of these are all variants of things that I've done, aren't they? Because it now because it called it Last Captain and Last Captain has appeared here. Yeah, my designs. Okay.
So I guess I can build whatever else and come back to it. So Kyle's Rock is one that works. Blueprints. Yeah, there it is, last captain. Huh. Right, once more. I wonder if maybe they've tweaked just how forceful those big sails are. I wonder if we could get away with putting a big sail on a slightly smaller ship like this one. Oh shoot, this one actually straight up go oh wow, oh this one no definitely does go faster than that, the big ship, huh. This one's doing 20... 25, 26 at peak? Ooh, I saw 28 in there. I'm not sure how the uh, wind direction meter and indeed the speedometer are calculated. Because, I mean, I'm going in a fairly consistent direction and at a fairly consistent speed for the most part, but the numbers fluctuate quite wildly. If you're at a sharp angle to the wind as well, the the uh, wind angle it just is goes all over the place. Perpetual Universe! Hi! Welcome to things. Welcome to Make Sail. I'm failing to make much sail, but it's all good. I will one day make sail. By which I mean build a boat that actually functions like a boat. Uh, there's, that, that, there's the thing again. Like maybe that's not a sa not indicative of a save save point as much as it is, uh, just an item to collect then. So there's an I that's that is the island I got my last component from as well. That's the one I swum to and couldn't swim back from. But it had a save point thingy by it. Maple Story 2 is coming soon, 15 years later. I'm afraid I didn't play the first one. That just did kind of... That don't mean a great deal to me, unfortunately. Um, are you a Maple Story fan? Was Maple Story the uh, browser-based MMO thing? Was that... Am I, am I getting that right? Was that like a... Was that what that was? Yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. I mean, I will harp on about this till the end of time, but if somebody wants to make a nice sequel to Glitch and bring that one back, that's one I'd be very down with. Okay, that's a fairly sizable island here, isn't it? Which probably, hopefully, has a save point, which is something I could use. I've been lacking one of those for a while. Uh, if not, nothing else, might at least have some items on it. A big island like this should definitely have some items on it. We are getting out towards the edge of the storm area, though. Okay, so there's an icon. Whether the icon means this island is safe, please come here and save your game or not is anybody's guess. I need to just carefully make my way through the the the, the jagged reefs of cubicness. Have I mentioned glitch before, really? Oh, that just surprised me. <laughs> Look, glitch was great. I got to spec drug dealer. How many in how many MMOs can you spec drug dealer? Admittedly, they had a weird their their talent system was set up weird so that you could just literally spec everything, and they were just kind of okay with it. It was just like if you just spent enough time, uh, you could just learn everything in the game. 
And they try to encourage you not to. They're like, did you know if you don't learn everything in the game, it will be more effective? It's like, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no! That was shallow. That was a shallow rock. Oh no. <laughs> but they didn't stop you doing that, so, you know. That was fine by me. Uh, what is on this rock? Is is there Are there building facilities on this rock? Is there anything worth visiting on this rock? Am I... Am I just dead, though? Did I come all the way out to this island for no reason? Why? Oh, that water level rose quite precipitously. It was like... That just rose several meters, like instantly. Uh, da, da, da. Um, there was definitely an icon somewhere around here that indicated the save points, or at least the stuff. And there is no save point or stuff. And that's my boat. Oh. My poor boat. It's so very fragile. So... Are we good? Can we keep going like this? Not well. But maybe? We're moving. If the wind and the currents could sort of drag me to the next island... Oh, that's... that can't go. No. Yeah, that's not usable. Ugh. Why is this boat, why is this save point so far away from all other save points? And why do all other save points also seem to have ceased to exist? Right. Let's go! Again. See, that island's got its icon. This one has kept its icon. I guess if it keeps its icon, it is definitely a place you can definitely save. If it disappears as you as you look at it, it doesn't exist. It doesn't explain why so many islands have those icons. There are clearly a couple of kinks still to be worked out. It is early access, after all. My concern always was, and maybe to a certain extent still continues to be, that they might have launched it too early into access. I don't know. There's obviously a playable product here, but whether it's something people would actually want to spend money on and engage with at this stage yet or not is a matter of some debates. Because, I mean, ultimately, you are still selling a product on Steam, and it still wants to be something that people would be happy spending their money on. Some people are just happy to uh, support what has got the potential to be a really cool product, which is where your crowdfunding and things come in as well. Uh, which is why I was happy to back it on Fig. But, you know, when it comes to actually buying a product on Steam, people might expect more product from their product. I don't know, like I said, there was, on the main menu there was something that said Worlds. I might have a poke at that shortly. I want to try and get this next set of chimes done. But if at that point it's just like, yep, keep doing it. Keep collecting chimes, keep making the storm get bigger. Yep, your trips are just going to get slightly longer each time. I might go have a poke around and see what, uh, what other things there are to play with in the game. That is the island I 
Is that the island I just marooned myself on? I think it was, wasn't it? Let's not go there! That island has a tree. Whether that makes it worth visiting or not, I don't know. We'll try and swing around a bit closer just to see if there is anything cool there. But I need to be... wow, that's a long way around. Oh no, that island over there, that's where I marooned myself. That looks familiar on the map, yeah. It looks like a fairly sizable and interesting island from a distance. It sadly is a treacherous barren rock of deception. Okay, I'm actually quite close in here. Relatively speaking. Because uh, the lighthouse is right there. So I'm going to have to spiral back out. Okay, there's something white on the island that would indicate a part. Means that's probably worth swinging by. Am I close enough? Because this is still not a save point. In spite of it being like a jetty. Can I swim to this? Oh god, I hope so. Climb up, fool. Okay, we got a pole. See, this seems like this should be a save point. This should be a, you can build your ship here. Okay, so that was okay. That was a, that was a successful mission to retrieve a pole. Let's head on out because I need to. I need. I need to be some distance out when we come around next lap. This rock up ahead, I presume we must have been to before because it has a blue marker on it. Tree rock beyond it. I wonder if I could swing out by that tree. The, tree. the trees have been good to me. I've got one for one record on trees working out was having good parts. Well, I think I can see something on this island. It might just be the jar, though. I don't know how to interact with jars. Alright, if I try and keep gunning for that tree, I'm just going to stall the boat and end up having to respawn. And I have not got the wherewithal to do that. That white bit is... that's an actual bit though, isn't it? An actual component. Yeah, okay. Uh, stop. Are we, are we stopped in good time? Oh god, I hope so. Okay, the plank. Still a thing that's not going to work for me. No. Oh, there's a there's a nice rock that lets you out here. That's kind of cool. And kind of weighed out. Okay. Onwards. There are some big rocks there, but I think that's all they are. I don't think there's anything I can get on. I don't know. The, the the one that looks like it has an archway in it, you might be able to get into, but I can't see anything on the map that says that's within the known limits of the world yet. I think that's further out. I think that's still to come. Okay, there's definite bits here. Something on this rock. 
That's fine. I need to kind of maintain this bearing, I suppose. Without tearing anything off on this rock. Because I need to, like... Stop, 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 uh, stop faster, stop faster. Ooh, that's, uh, those are, those are propulsions. Okay, let's try this. Is that a propulsion? I think that's a propulsion. Jets, we got a jet and a blobfish. Is there anything else around here? This was a lucrative island. Do bits. Whoa, what's the purple line? Interesting. Okay, climb up. Okay, good, good, good. Right, I need to be out without hitting these rocks. Although, there's an island here that totally looks like it has stuff on it. Oof. Uh, let's maintain this bearing then. I don't know what to do about that. If that's an actual save point, that would be really good to get. I think it actually might actually be. <laughs> but it does take me a little bit further in, and I'm trying to go out, which makes the next leg of the journey more difficult. not hit the rock, that would make the next leg of the journey extremely difficult, and I would regret having not picked up the save point if I hit that. Something going on over there? I don't want to get that close to that. I don't think I could. There's no way I could get to that if I wanted to. All these little clusters, they seem like they might have something going on. If I had more maneuverability, it'd be really good to explore things, but as it is, you've got to plan every trajectory between islands super carefully. So I suppose, yeah, if anything, as far as, like, tutorial goes, this game could stand to may maybe upgrade you to more interesting ships a little bit faster. I mean, even if this hadn't... Ooh, there's a bunch of things there, huh. Uh, even if this hadn't sort of... Oh, and we're right on the edge of the storm as well. <laughs> uh, let's, let's just keep going with the wind. Keep going with the wind. And hope that this ship, ha this this island, has somewhere to rebuild because I think I'm gonna hit it. Nope, don't don't open the sail. Don't open the sail. Okay, yeah, that's totally a place to build. That's fine. It's a jet. That's a plank. That's a log. Good. These things are good. Oh man, that next island is so close. I uh, should probably also grab the chime. That would be really useful to have. Well done, save. Set sail. Can we set sail from here directly to that next island then? Can I get from here to there? Oop. Get on board. Seem that seems easy enough to do. I can get from here to there. It's not far at all. It also has a save point on it. Okay. Close sail, let go. Jump, swim, get the things. Small energy vacuum, blue log. Clank. Walrus tusk, cool. A chime that I'm clearly not supposed to be able to get yet. A big black barrel, cool. Yeah, I clearly cheated that chime there. This was blates for the next section of the game. Whoops!
Oh, I thought I was going to lose a barrel then. Uh, OC, hey, uh, the game is about building ships and sailing them is really the long and the short of it. At the minute, there's like... It's, it's a criticism I've leveled at it a couple times, is that it currently still feels a lot like a tech demo. It's a fun little building system, not that I've managed to build much particularly useful with it. Um, it's a neat little sailing concept, not that I've gotten to grips with anything particularly complex. Um, and at the minute, it's you start off, it's, it's basically you're trapped in the middle of a storm that blows around in a circular fashion. And... You get a very simple ship and you sail out to a bunch of different islands and collect things. And once you've collected enough stuff, you return back to a lighthouse in the center, which is what I'm about to do, uh, and return the items there. When you do that, the storm recedes further out and you get access to more stuff. But I'm hoping the game is going to give me the tools and equipment to do more interesting things soon. Ah, oh, the stuff at that island. I should probably swing, try and swing by that. Because, uh, yeah, I've been, I've been at this a while. Uh, I was just kind of in a mid. I kind of just started this train of thought and then got derailed by finding things. Uh, but I kind of picked up here today roughly where I left off during the closed alpha, I suppose it would have been. And. Can I build this island? That would be really nice. And therefore skipped a bunch of the tutorial stuff. So, I've still been at this a while, and it's still just a lot of sailing in circles. Okay, so there's two bits here, that's cool. And that way to rebuild. These are good. I'll take them. What on earth is that? A torch, fair enough, and a blobfish log. Cool, 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 cool. So I can just grab a save point there, that's nice. Set sail. Try and actually get, try and actually get this back in. I suppose towards the centre. I've not been bringing it in much, but yeah, I mean, there's a few hours of gameplay here where all they give you is a very simple ship. You you have no control over the sail other than furl and unfurl. Um, it's just fixed flat. It doesn't turn automatically. Um, any sail tur turning in this game is something that you need to do yourself. And this particular sail on this particular ship, you can't do that. It's just a fixed sail. So if you try and sail remotely towards the wind, it won't work. You've got to sail with the wind, which means you've got to sail around in a circle. So if I, if I turn in towards the center too much here, I will just lose the wind and stall and I won't be able to go anywhere. So there's a lot of hours of sailing around in circles, just picking up bits, picking up bits, picking up bits, picking up bits. And most of them allow you to make slightly bigger ships. It's like, we've got more parts, I can build a bigger ship, but ultimately we're not getting to particularly interesting gameplay yet. There's, it's not giving me an interesting sail. I can't... You would have a lot more freedom of mo movement if I could just angle the sail towards the wind. I could sail pretty much straight in towards this island a lot more efficiently and effectively and satisfyingly if I could just turn that sail counterclockwise at this point into the wind. It would catch the wind and I could sail at an angle to the wind. As it is, if you go be if you go much beyond broad reach here, I I may have lost it there. Oof. You can you can see from the way the the sail is blowing whether you've lost it or not. And you'll just stall and it stops. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it is challenging. I don't think I don't think they ever intended it to be, oh, this is trivial sailing. The whole point of it, right from, right from the word go, was this is supposed to be a reasonably accurate sailing simulator. They wanted this to be accurate as, as much as they could manage to real-life sailing mechanics whilst also still allowing you the freedom to build your own ships. Which is cool. But I wish it would pick up the pace and get more interesting faster. I think some of the issue this is uh, I think part of that stems from the fact that very early on some of the issues they ran into with playtesting uh, was that they did throw slightly more advanced ships at people very quickly, 
and nobody knew how to use it. I think they had like some triangular sailed ship that was supposed to be like a starting ship and nobody could figure it out. I think even in the closed beta builds, or closed, not closed, no, closed alpha builds that I played uh, a few months back now, there was a triangle cell. I tried messing around with it and I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. So that, any, anything more advanced absolutely needs some sort of degree of tutorial to actually explain to a new player how this sail works, how it's intended to work, how how you can make it go without it just being wild trial and error, which is not satisfying. Um, but at the same time, this basic square sail is also not fun. But like, as I say, simply being able to angle the sail would bring it in line with the sailing mechanics of most things. Alright, I'll see you later, OC. Again, your uh, Sea of Thieves, very simple, turn sails to wind, ship goes. I mean, they've oversimplified it to some degree in Sea of Thieves just to make it super accessible insofar as your ship will still go forwards even if you're sailing directly into the wind. So that's an oversimplification. Um, but again, again um, Worlds Adrift, you don't have any control of the sails, but it always angles towards the wind, so you are always getting it. You do still have to try and work with the wind, you just can't sail directly into it. At all, really. Unless you have engines. But the ship, but the, the, the sails still angle themselves so that, you know, for the majority of directions, as long as you're kind of going with the wind, it still works. You don't just, you don't have like a 20 degree angle of freedom where you move and everything else just stops. Okay, let's get these bits home. See where this takes me. So I think this pushes us back to wherever that weird purple line was. And I don't know what the weird purple line is going to do for us. There's also some more bits that I picked up there that looked like they actually provided some propulsion. So that could be good. Let's just hop overboard here. So if memory serves... The propulsion, you have to like harvest energy from the jellyfish and then use it for a very short burst of energy or something. I don't know. We'll figure that one out. Storm pushed back. There's three more to collect. If I set off in the right direction, you could get all of those on one. So if I set off sort of northeast-ish and curved around that way, could probably get far enough out to swing by and collect those three in one pass. Maybe? Maybe? Maybe. Where have we got one? Two. Where's the other ones? We've got one there. Where are they all? One, two, three. So yeah, I want to set off from... Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's probably not bad, actually. That's probably not a bad place to set off at all. Give me the jar. What does the jar do? Ah, fine. All right, let's have a look at and see what we can do about that proportion. Oh, that blue log. Interesting. Once used for archery practice. So utilities. I've got a small energy vacuum. Pulls energy from jellyfish. Energy you can use for jets, propellers, tethers, and more. Warrus Tusk is... I, I, li I, th I think all of these accessories are designed to be exactly the same density as water. Just so that they don't... It's just so that you can put accessories on the ship without you upsetting the balance of things. I think that's why they're there. It's like, okay. If, if it was heavier than the density of water, you'd be like, well, why would I put it on? It's just gonna... It's just gonna negatively affect my ship. If it's exactly the same, that's fine. That's absolutely okay. You can put it on and it won't sink, it won't float, it won't affect it. 
If it was less than, you'd be like, oh great, this is buoyant, I should put these on. I should put as many of these on as I can. If it's heavier, you'd be like, well, this is just going to sink my ship. Although the lanterns are light. I mean, the lanterns, I suppose, are above the surface of the water, so they shouldn't make any difference to buoyancy anyway. Uh, energy vacuum. Where can I put that? This this might affect the density negatively, though. Just sit it at the front of the ship, I guess. And then movement. We've got some jets, little jets. I don't know where these need to attach. Like here, I guess. Oh, I guess they draw, yeah, I guess it looks like they draw in water from the bottom and eject it from the top. As a form of propulsion. Okay. That's cute. Okay, so I've got two of those guys. Uh, my ship is now totally going to sink if I try and sail with that. I could put another one of these under the middle and try and increase the buoyancy, I guess. So that attaches... what, like... here? That's, that is not the same one as the one that's already on there. What is the one that's on here? One of those, isn't it? So like that. Short blue plank, short blue plank. Yeah, okay, they're the same. And then from there I can put more buoyancy on. I think, hopefully. I don't know whether the other... Oh, hang on, wait. Am I not allowed to attach them because they interfere? No, no, they should be right. So that's good. And then... Like that. Yeah, okay. Like that. So that's saying the density of the whole ship is really high now. Which is weird, because those barrels should be... Those barrels should be good, right? Those barrels should lift the ship. Let's see how that goes. That is interesting. That's very low in the water, but still floating. It is incredibly low in the water. How do I get my energy from the jellyfish, then? I think I've already goofed. Because I need to set sail... This is the problem, I'm heading directly for that, and... Ideally, I need to be heading, like, that way. I mean, I can try heading that way. Sure. I don't think it's going to work as well as I want it to, but we can try it. If I could make it to this little next save point, that would actually be pretty useful. No, yeah, that's not working. Respawn. I absolutely want to get to that little rock, though. Oop, not so much, not so much, not so much.
Okay, I can probably swim to that. It's not far. I just want a deployment point that's just a little bit further away from the rock. Whether it'll make much difference at all or not, I don't know, but we'll see. If I can get, go past these jellyfish and extract their energy, I might be able to use the propulsion to get me out to that island a little bit more effectively. I don't think it's going to work though, is it? I'm going to lose the wind like this. No. Okay. No jellyfish for me. I feel like I'm going to be lucky if I even manage to get to this rock, but I really badly need to do it. Matter of fact, actually, the actual point I'm trying to get to is not this rock up ahead. It's like two islands further off in the distance. I'm looking at this one, there's this thing, it's like, oh, this isn't far. No, no, that's not it. There is more. Yeah, there's no way in heck I'm going to get to that. The launching off point from the main main central island is just too the angles the angles wrong for this. And I've kind of ruined it now. Right, let's find out if I can swim there. It's not far. It's okay. I can do this. I think we're okay. Okay, alright. That's good. Is there anything here? Nope. Okay, maybe maybe I've already been here. As long as I can get to the save point is all I care about. So set sail. Point us in uh, sort of the right direction. Get the energy from the jellyfish. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Why would you do that? Why, why would that happen? Oh, oh, the pink meter is my energy tank, oh, okay. So I already do have energy. Energy recharges at build stations. Oh, okay. So the energy does not charge... Oh, recharges at build stations, and I guess from jellyfish. <laughs> there are little... There's just a little chain of islands here that are sort of letting me cheat my way out to where I need to be. So I'm nearly there. Because I can swim to this, I'm reasonably confident. This lets me recharge. This lets me get further out. Give me the juice, whatever it may be. Fine. Build. Set sail. So yeah, I'm like, to get to that island now is going pretty much against the wind. Oof. Okay. Let's go! Little water jets. Water jets are not doing a great deal for me. They don't even. This doesn't actually even appear to be any animation for them. I 
Okay, well, I can see the spawn points. If I could only sail close to the island, <gasps> I could do it. It's still quite a ways off. Oh, this is tragic. I've got to go. Have I genuinely got to go the long way around to get to that? That kind of sucks. Maybe I could reach that island. That island looks interesting. I don't think I've been to that one. I would be very interested in finding some jellyfish to recharge my energy from right now as well. That would be good. I think I'm going to manage to make it to that. Oh, well, may, I mean, maybe. Very quickly reaching the point at which I'm sailing at beam reach, and that's not going to work. I think there's something on there. There's the, there's the icon that suggests there is something there. I mean, it does look like there's, an, there's a few things on there, actually, and an actual save point. The archway looks like that island that deceived me, though. Alright, so there's a long way to the next one. No jellyfish, no islands, nothing to give a man a break. And there's appear to be two things and a potential save point at that little rock. It looks like a very familiar rock, but I think the I think there are just a limited number of designs of rock in the game at present. There's like four things on this island. Or is it four? Is that four? I think that's four things. I think I should definitely be heading towards this island. It's a good job that I am. Okay, well these are good. This is very good. It totally is a save point as well. Which is what I'm looking for in life. Oh, that's a Narwhali bit as well. Climb up. Narwhal horn. Blue log. Hull. Lifesaver. And a bow. I presume the lifesaver being... Decorative, right? Utilities, movements, lift, um... It's none of the utilities. Oh, it's lit under lift. Okay. Its uh, buoyancy is actually very low. Huh. Could I, like, put it just flat underneath the ship just to, like, give it some give it some oomph there, then? Or to attach it on there. I recognize this point is to save a human life, but I guess if it was just under the ship lifting it up, that could work. I don't know if that's changed much.
We are right on the fringes here. I don't think we need to be like looking at heading further out. Could probably burn some energy to get some speed up. Yeah, the energy tanks last a bit longer than I remember them doing before as well. They seem to burn out really quickly in the past. Which is good, because they burned out way too fast before. Okay, got a whole bunch of doodads on here. We're slowly but surely garnering more interesting doohickeys. Shame none of those are specifically sales, but you never know. Don't know what these guys are. So that's a roof, sure. That's a big Big, a big blue barrel. Neat. A big yellow barrel. A uh, hook? Is that a hook? A swing? Oh, it's a lantern. Okay. Great. We can have many more lanterns. And the thing we came for. Okay. Next. I am trying to figure out how on earth I could make this dang thing more buoyant. It doesn't seem to be a major issue just yet, though. But a lot of these bits are lighter than water. You could put them on; it would presumably, it would presumably lower the uh, lower th lower the density of things. Take a blobfish log and put it on not here. Is a tree log longer? See, does that like link them together now? I guess it does, and that's below the water line, and it's less dense than water, so I should add some buoyancy to things, I think. Eye poles. How long are they? Not quite as long. Uh, yeah, the tree logs are, I think, the uh, most effective one. Broken piece of a mass, blue flavored. Yep, still only a tiny fraction of the size. Okay. Uh, ring log blue. No, um, more ribs. I don't know what we do with a rib. No idea what that is and what you would do with it. Let's set sail. Well, those logs on the side have managed to stay attached. That's good. And I feel like the barrels are riding less low in the water. I think that big flood island there is one that I was looking at and going, ooh, what about that one before, isn't it? Unless it's the unless it's the treacherous one that betrayed me. Could also be that one. It looks like an island that should have stuff on it, you know? But you can usually spot stuff a mile away as well. If there was anything Oh! If there was anything, I'd be able to see it, he says, looking at it. Let's head towards that. 
Is there anything further out? No. Nah. No. Nah. Okay. There's only one thing on here. But it'll do. It seems like a really weird place to launch from on this island, though. There's definitely a spawn point, but... Oh, that barrel... Th th those, logs, those logs are not attached as well as I expected. They detach when you step on them. This is every bit that I put on a ship always just seems to just fall off for, like, no reason. And the bits that are in... on the standard ships, as well as them being the same, basically, as the stuff I'm building, is already well attached to each other? I don't know. Is there, like, a attach this bit to other bits button that I've completely and utterly missed? I don't know. Uh, right. I don't think I didn't pick up anything interesting there, did I? I got an orange crate. Fruit held in this is long, long gone. I'm sure they were really delicious once, though. I don't think we need a crate that's heavy for no useful reason. <laughs> so let's use what little proportion I have to try and get around the outside of the island. Otherwise, I don't know how I'm going to leave this island. Don't hit the rock! Don't hit the rock! Uh. I thought I thought something went thunk there, but no, I guess it's okay. So what we got coming up? So that island, I think, is actually behind this one. Perspective is weird. Uh, I don't know if it has anything on it, like... The still cluster looks like the sort of one that looks suspiciously like it might have something in it. I certainly can't see any icons, though, so I'm not really going to actually attempt to get to it, I don't think. Well, I might just be able to power my way, if, if there was something, I might just be able to power my way from the spawn point on this island to it. Possibly an option. There's nothing there, is there? Nah. It's quite happily going with the wind here, actually. It's perfect. I want to know what was the deal with the island that I saw that had the weird purple laser beam coming out of it. I would like to find that and find out what was going on there. Also, oh yeah, chimes two of four. I was like, I've only got one. Oh yeah, I picked up one on the last run, didn't I, that I wasn't supposed to have. So this, should, this journey should actually have been marginally more arduous than it actually really was. Okay, so we have us a plank of some description. Cool. We have us a hole of some description. We have us a what's it? Yellow barrel. Cool. Ooh, and a thing. A thief box. Interesting. And a chime. Those are good. I'm liking that the islands are becoming quite lucrative now, as I actually visit. I don't see anything on that island, though. Which is a shame. Oh! Oh, shoot, I actually, I straight up have two small bows now. Oh! Oh, that totally makes me want to make an actual proper catamaran-y kind of thing. I could make something that just has two hulls rather than that weird three-pronged thing I did before. Hmm. It's pretty tempting. I'll go with this for now. Yeah, just sail onwards. Sail onwards. There is a save point on this next little, just this next little rock. 
And there's another good island out that way. I don't know if this one has anything to speak of on it. Can't see any icons to collect. my water jets actually are doing anything. Have I got them on upside down or something? No, that can't be right. Um, how on earth are these supposed to work? They're out anyway, whatever they are. And this is the default direction they're attached on, right? I presume they sucked up water out the bottom tube there and propelled, pushed them out the back for propulsion. And that, that was the propulsion. And to do that, it wouldn't need to be below the surface of the water, would it? Would it? Oh, I have not watched where I'm about to crash. It's fine, there's a save point, it doesn't matter if I crash. Okay, so I want... a hull, yes, yes. And there's another thief box, maybe? It is. Oh, a barrel, I'll take it. A doodad. Just a regular old pole. Uh, there's some cool structures going on. And that's about it. Yeah, okay. Let me have a nosy about these um, propulsion systems then. Where is the best place to put these? Is it actually underwater? Is that where these things should live? Okay, I'll we'll try that. I don't know which way I want to be. I guess we're, we're right on the edges here, aren't we? That sounds like those both fell off. No, they didn't. That's okay. Oh, it's the lanterns that are clunking. Oh, okay, I can see water coming out of them now. That looks okay. Okay, the jets don't allow you to fight the wind very well. Crap. I guess we are going to have to go around the outside of the island. Not that I'm happy about that because we're so on the edge of everything here. Oh, one of them falls off. In spite of them both being attached in the same way, on both sides. One of them falls off and one of them doesn't. This is what I mean about things not being attached that should be attached. Only one of my water spouts actually held on. The design is symmetrical, but one and one didn't attach. Why? What caused that? So I said I wanted to see the thing with the giant purple laser on it. But I have no idea where that is. Oof, I can see an island out there that I want to get to now though. It hopefully has a save point. It definitely has stuff. I wish I hadn't burnt so much energy heading inwards now, because now I've got to go back outwards. That's like three, four things again. Hello. Do want.
One thing that's only just dawned on me, and I don't know why this should be the case, because I've never known this with any other game, uh, the actual stream footage seems to be much darker and gloomier than in-game here. It's very, very moody and atmospherically lit on stream. But in the game, it's a little bit lighter and you can see what you're doing. I don't, why, don't quite know why there would be a discrepancy, because I've never known that to be a thing before. <laughs> anyway, I just got a wooden bird. Where would you put a... where would a wooden bird be? It's not on the left, it's not... it's a utility. Most of these are not utilities, really, I don't think. Ooh, burbs provide lift. Lift, okay, let's, let's, let's put a... Can we ha can you just be a mascot? Bigger head? <laughs> just sit there. I'd quite like to attach it to the same point that the narwhal's attached to. So it could actually be a figurehead, but... It's... I don't know, doesn't seem to want to. I can sit on there though, that's fine. The tusks. When we're gonna put a tusk on a ship, where would you do it? Dang it, uh, like that. Okay. And then. That's not gone remotely where I thought it was going. Oh, that's gone on the barrel. Oh, interesting. That's an interesting place to put it. Not where I wanted to put it. I was thinking there was a attachment point like here? There is not. Never mind. Maybe, maybe the ship does not need tusks. Who knows? Torch could be... Whoa, that is a big old proper tiki torch kind of thing going on. Huh. I was just expecting a little one. No, that is a full... That's as big as the mast, almost. Uh, Alright. Let's uh, have a look at these things and figure out why these aren't attached to that one, at least. What's going on here that means it's not fixed? Because it is attached exactly... Or it was attached in exactly the same way as the other one. That lit up green, like, this is a good place to put it. Is that is that what that means? Does green, does green mean it's good? So I just take a thing and, like, put it... Because red obviously means it's not attached. I think there's some that are green and some that are yellow. Is, is, is there yellow or am I just misseeing things? I feel like some bits are like, yeah, it's yellow here. Are there some bits that like you can put in some places and some places you can't? I don't know. Tutorials, man, how do they work? No, it's just yellow when you mouse over it, isn't it? Okay. So, are they attached? Let's find out. Yes, they are both attached. In a place that looks like it might provide some thrust. Okay. The stuff a little bit further out, but that's that is straight up out in the storm. That was a that was a bird. That, 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 oh. Oh, okay. No, oh, okay, the the birds want me dead. <laughs> oh no! Uh, how do I get out of bird country? Can't stop here. This is bird country. Uh, right, inwards. Okay, the bird on the front. Let's come off. Are the birds attracted to the bird on the front? Is that what that is? I don't know what that one's doing. Spinning on the spot. There have been some wonderful gifts that the devs have shared of birds, like, just smashing ships and things. Which is clearly a thing that they do in this game.
but those seem like that one that one seemed like that was designed to home in on me for the purposes of destruction that was the vibe I got there there's this archway here which might be the purple laser that I was after but the bird had a purple laser which suggests that's just an UI element of aiming at things This might be big purple laser rock. If it is, I'm very interested as to what's going on with big purple laser rock. It's definitely one of the more in uh, the stuff here. Okay, that's something. It is, without a doubt, one of the more interesting islands I've come across. I just appear to have a spawn point on the other side, so that's fine. I was trying to be very careful about parking that, because I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to respawn here or not. A blue tower plank. Another roof. There's a bunch of stuff out there. There's another roof there. Okay, this may just be an interesting rock. That might be all it is. Okay, we got roofs. Roofs for days. Uh, set sail. Oh, I've been holding F to throttle. I didn't realize F is a toggle on the boosters. Okay. Oops. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. Oh, God. I'm heading out into the void. And maybe the birds. I don't know. Do the birds protect the abyss? The harbingers of doom. And I've crapped it up. Oh, no. Ah, that's very close. Okay, so there's another archway rock that's very similar. So I guess that's just, again, just a standard rock design. Does have a spawn point behind it. And should take us en route back around to that last thing, I think. Assuming I have any idea where I'm going. Spoiler alert, I don't. Oh god, there's the birds. There it is, there's that pink line the, that was attached to the rock. The, this is absolutely the rock with the pink laser. Mm -hmm. It has murderous birds. Intent on ruining all I hold dear. What? Oh, they have absolutely annihilated my ship. Ruthlessly and efficiently. As only seagulls can. Jellyfish log, woo! I don't know what the pink thing goes to. Something below the rocks, I suppose. Where they point in the middle of the island that the birds are tethered to? <coughs> I don't know. No, my boat. Bits drifting away off as the sun sets. Oh god, there's my barrels. Oh, How am I going to get away from this if they're just going to wreck me? A rib. Mm. 
I mean, at this point I can build some physically very elaborate ships, but mechanically it's still just going to do the same. And this is what's really annoying. Guys, get out of here before a bird tears me limb from limb. There's a pink line going all the way over there. Which makes me worried there's a bird over this way somewhere. Is it perched on top of that rock? Ready to destroy me? Oh yeah it is, I totally see it is. Yep, oh no, here it comes! Oh, what? Why is that a mechanic? That doesn't seem fair, reasonable, or in any way, shape, or form, logical. <laughs> okay, if I head inwards, that bird is now patrolling somewhere around where I died. Probably, is it heading, is it heading inwards? Is it heading towards me? That's looking larger, I think. Is, is it heading this way? Or is it... Oh no, it's just doing that weird spinny on the... Spinny in the sky thing. Birds, man. Now, I'm not going to deny that they... That they create some fairly entertaining moments, but that's one of those things that feels very gammy and, like, prototype-y, and... That doesn't feel like a thing that should be in a finished game. Unless you're specifically going for Goat Simulator. I don't believe the pitch here was, go was Goat Simulator. More sort of Boat Simulator. I don't think the design here is, oh, we're going to leave the bugs in because it's funny. <laughs> Why do birds make a beeline for you from a mile away and just act as immovable objects, or unstoppable forces rather, just plummeting straight through your ship? It doesn't make any sense. They absolutely should not be still in the game once the game's in early access. You should have done, unless you're, unless you're Goat Simulator, the suicide bombing birds should be, should not have made it to early access release. I'm quite confident. Let's get some speed. So now we know what the archways with the pink lasers were all about. The pink lasers are birds that were perched in the archways. Is that a save point? Oh, it is. It's it's silhouetted. Camouflaged against the rocks here. Is there any reason to actually stop here? Or anything to collect? Y'all's got anything exciting? There's, oh, there's a bottle in there, but I haven't actually figured out quite how one interacts with those, so. Never mind. Oh, this one. Oh! Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have trouble getting to this one now. This island totes has something on it. And the save point. This might, I might be okay. I'm, I'm gonna, I think there's going to be some swimming involved, but I might get to it. You get to the nearest point. There's a save point. There's a couple things. It would be good to grab them. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. That was good. That was a good little hole. Four things. Neat. So what have we acquired? We've got orange crates, we've got blue crates, stuff, a box of stuff, particularly blue stuff. Blueberries, bluefish, bluebirds. You get the idea. Tiny box of stolen goods. Is the thieves box. Now we've got another one of those I could glom onto the underside if that's actually useful. 
What else did I pick up? Did I pick up... Oh, I picked up another wooden bird, right. After this one fell off. Is there a... Is there a better place to put a wooden bird? Because it clearly didn't seem to want to sit on the top there. Can you just go right on top? Can you put it, like, on top of the mast? No. It could sit... at the back here. Maybe. There we go, it's fine, yeah. Well, mm. kind of would like it to be on the actual, on the edge of it, rather than in the edge of it there. What I'm going for is a little sort of captain's companion, was kind of the vibe I was trying to get at. But there's actually, there's nowhere to attach this that's not sort of like intermeshed into the geometry somewhat. Fine, I can just sit on deck, fine. Is the bird attached this time? Hey, it is. There's some stuff out there. I can't get out that far. Where are the edges? That's that's uh, that's ring four content, I think. I think we just stick with the winds here, just keep following following the currents. I'm not even sure if there's actually much between here and our goal. In fact, the goal is about to appear on... Damn it, the bird's gone again! Oh, I can't keep the bird. Why does everything I love leave me? There's a little one on the starboard side. A little archipelago, which probably has stuff. How easily it's going to be to stop at is anybody's guess. Probably useful if I could get back out of the fog so I could actually see where I'm going. So is the oh this is is that this is the archipelago? No, wait, what? Yeah, this is this is the one. Okay, and it has like two spawn points. Which is fine because then it's actually really close to that. So I could make this work. Do these islands even have anything that's worth stopping for? Oof. I might have just... I might have goofed here. Well, my ship just fell apart for some reason, so... Probably a good job we are. We are at spawn points, huh? Well, that looks interesting. It's someone's grave. Not that I can read the language. Yeah, I know, my ship sunk. Oh, what a pointless little ar archipelago. Oh, there goes a barrel. Oh, that was my barrel. Oh, God. <laughs> Those are bits of my ship flying across the ocean. Whoop. Alright, uh, let's try and get to the where we need to be then. Frig, oh no. There's a why is there a rock right there? That's not good. Why why do you literally start in a rock? Oh no. Let's get as far out as I can possibly muster. And go under engine power as fast as I can away from this place. Oh, I see a bird in the sky as well though.
And it's nice those big magenta lines to tell you, hey, here's a thing that will ruin your day circling overhead. You should probably avoid it. Okay, we're threading the needle, that's fine. Oh god, what the oh that was the bird. That was the that was absolutely the bird. It's okay, I still have engine power. There goes more of my ship. Thanks, bird. Huh, so the bird is linked to this. A light tether cannon. Tether sounds powerful. Tell me more. Does that mean the birds are specifically guarding a thing? Still not allowed to pick up this. It's by having the same symbol floating around it as the last thing I just picked up. Hey, I got the chimes. That's good. Does that mean all the other birds I've seen with those pink lines have been like, this is what it's defending. You should probably not try to take it, or you probably should try to take it, rather. A light tether cannon shoots an energy tether that sticks to almost anything, place it on your boat, and then stand next to it to operate. It can be retracted and cut. Huh. So... I mean, oh wow, it weighs a lot. It's probably not something that's going to go on a little boat like this. It will make the boat crazy heavy. Funk. Oh, okay, the boat is actually not too bad. That's, I mean, that didn't seem like that changed it any. Huh. No, it doesn't really, like, upset the balance of things, for some reason. I don't know how it calculates density, then. <clears throat> okay, set sail. I just put a really heavy chunk of metal on my ship, though. How is this possibly going to work? Okay, so if I let go of that, we're going to keep going, but I can now use the tether. How far, what's the range on it? So is that, is that what the birds use? Oh, it totes says. That looks, that looks, mm, maybe I need more space, maybe I need this bird off it. Nope. That's gammy. Oh god, I've just tethered my own... <laughs> I guess I need to respawn. I tethered my own tether gun to my mast. Ugh, no. This thing, oh, is the... Oh, the glowing purple radius, I guess, for this is... that That's the radius a jellyfish has to be within to get the energy from it. Let me remove this and see if I can scooch this to the mast. Can this sit here, a little bit further forward? Let's lose the bird. Tether gun sits here. Set sail. Go. And, oh god, where have I gone? Uh, I, oh man overboard. Grab gun. Shoot at... I guess the range is not super long. For some reason it shoots... Okay, if... The... Okay, so that is absolutely a bug. Basically, if there's an object... <laughs> the shooting seems to be done from essentially the camera rather than the gun itself. If there's any object in front of the camera whatsoever, the tether automatically latches to that, so if this lantern is in front of the camera, the tether latches to the lantern rather than to whatever you're aiming at, so I presume it would do it with the mast as well. If the mast's in the way, it will grab the mast, yeah. If I press S, I can reel it in. No? Okay, let's release that. Awkward. 
Yes. That's what that is. So I kind of pretty much can only fire... I guess I need rid of the lanterns, honestly, in order to make this go. Well, just, just give me some more leeway for being able to shoot it. it. I shouldn't need to do this, but we're going to have to. So that just gives me a wider angle to use the cannon. I'm wondering how, if you can use that to like actually reel yourself into islands and stuff if you're within a certain distance of them. Try and get close to some of these rocks and then we can test it out. I don't know if the energy thing was like flashing before. Was it fl was it was it always flashing like that? That's interesting. The ship was fine until I took control of the cannon. Huh. Why would that be? So can I fire at that rock, and then S to reel in? Okay, yeah, yeah, you can totally move the ship like that. So if you haven't got any power, and... Okay, that could, that could actually have some occasional practical use. If you overshoot an island or something and want to just, like, drag yourself back in... I can see how that could do, do a thing. The energy thrusters are pretty good, so just in a short burst, just to get you unstuck if you get stuck like that as well. There's a, there's a few just little maneuverable things. Okay, these these are sort of making the ship mildly more usable, but it's still you still got that really long orbital kind of mechanic to try and get in and out, which is making the journeys argu more arduous than they need to be. I wonder if the uh, tether uses the energy as well. If you're not charged, can you not tether to things? And will it use up the energy as you're reeling in? These are questions I have. Okay, I'm gonna end up threading a needle here again, I think. I don't think it's gonna work as well this time either. Eep. Oh my god, why do I keep doing that? That's really dangerous. I like doing that, it's really satisfying. To, it's one of those really satisfying maneuvers to do. I'll take a save point, having just risked life and limb and everything to get through that. Yeah, sure. Is there anything on that island, or I think I think I was I think I must have been a, a uh, chime on a previous run. Man, I can see the clouds before I can see the lighthouse. We're so far out. Please, game. May I have a good ship?
Okay, so I see we're getting back into jellyfish territory, which is... They don't seem to be too far... They don't seem to go far out. So if we can get to them, I can leech some power from them, perhaps. Or not. Because my en engines are really bad. Okay, there are jellyfish en route. I can use these to my advantage. Sweet energy sustaining jellyfish. Ooh, there's a maybe save point over there? Yeah. Could possibly use that. Can't really get to it at this stage though, so never mind. It's fine, we'll keep spiraling. Twirling, twirling towards freedom. I'd like to get to that one. This one's one on the right. Come on, come on. Steal its energy. Take its life force. Yay? Nay? No? Okay. Fine. Probably get one of these ones. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, uh, that's how you regenerate it. Okay, so I have to get close to it and press F. Which is weird, because pressing F is the same thing that uses energy as well, so... Yeah, there should be like two separate inputs to for make engines go and steal life from jellyfish. I don't feel like those two being the same inputs kind of quite right. But also, it does not steal much life from jellyfish. You gotta get a whole lot of jellyfish to make this thing go. That is a whole lot of jellyfish, though. Show my path, um, well my path might take me with, through them if I were to just go with the winds. But if I just follow the winds, I'm not going to wind up where I need to be either. Oh, it's a catch-22. I think that's what one of those things is. Uh, right, go through a crowd. Take their sweet, sweet jelly energy. And return home. Jelly juice! Oh yeah, that's that's how you do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, blatantly the trick is to wrap a jellyfish around your prow and just perpetually steal all of its life. So yeah, what you need to do is build like a cow catcher kind of thing, except a jellyfish catcher on the front of it. So that you just scoop up <laughs> scoop up. You, you didn't it's like a um like a hydrogen scoop you'd get on sort of sort of interstellar spaceships. At least within certain works of science fiction. I recognise those aren't real things, but you know. Like Red Dwarf. Red Dwarf. Red Dwarf's got a big scoop on the front of it. You all know Red Dwarf, right? Big scoop. Um Yeah, it's designed for scooping up interstellar hydrogen so that it can be used as a fuel source. Instead, you build a scoop that goes on the front of your ship, so it scoops up jellyfish, and then you just continually tap into that jellyfish for energy. Because it didn't, it didn't seem like the jellyfish disappeared once, you, once it was, like, used or anything. You just seem to get energy as long as you're near a jellyfish. So as long as you can claim a jellyfish and just use it as the battery for your ship, you could just have a powered ship. Interesting theory. What I mean, what I'm keen to explore. I really am, actually. I kind of, I kind of want to have a go with that now. Let's return these home. Uh, so near, yet so far. 
It's probably swimmable. It's almost certainly swimmable. Alright. Chimes. We'll push back the storm. And now there's three more to get. Or four more to get. Oh my god. I don't even see for oh right, there's two here on the oh god almighty, this map gets ridiculously big. I guess orange is oh I I hadn't even um clocked before, but I guess orange is islands you've been close enough to see, the black islands you haven't explored yet. Whew. This requires some jellyfish proportion. Really, let's be honest. This requires a jellyfish scoop. Which is absolutely what I'm going to attempt to build. <laughs> okay. Let's take this guy off. Pop this over here for a moment. Um, move that. And I'm not sure, I'm sure I even want that now, actually. Um, another... Another bit of hull is probably the way forward. And more. Oh, there is a there. Are, they, these are scoops. There's, that's literally a scoop of sorts. That might work. Might that might be a good start to it. Or I could use these. That that's that's properly scoopy. Okay. Uh, sure. Can I rotate these around like that? Can I then affix this to what I've got going on here? That's not how I want to do it, is it? It's more sort of like this? That. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that right? Yeah, this seems right. We take another one of those, turn that around, and then link those up. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And we have as a claw a straight up, honest to goodness claw. This sits. Pretty much where it did. If I can, can I not? It could sit there, it could just be in the thing. Whether that actually attaches or not is a whole other matter. Uh, I mean, that should be enough, right? That should be close enough, because it, cover, it covers the entire scoop section. Alright, I, I, figure, I figure that might be a thing. The claw's not quite as big as I'd like it to be, but I think it'll work. The density of the ship is very heavy now. This might just sink. I have some... I have a lifesaver, still. Which could fit somewhere. Somewhere. And up there. And that's a... what the heck is... no, not there. There's nowhere actually practical to put that, is there? Hmm. Okay, never mind. Uh, can we... I'm just wondering, can these guys be bunched up a bit to make, make room for more barrels? Let's take the log. Those logs are clearly not working for me. Oh no, uh oh. That barrel connected here? No, not no. Oh, 
It's hard for it to hard to get it to connect the bits you want it to connect. It's not even attached. For some reason it's attaching like a top bit there instead of instead of the dots that are like literally overlaid on top of each other. What camera angle do I have to be to make this friggin' work? Nope. Almost. So close. Oh my god. How did I get this attached in the first instance? No, that's attached to the top of it now. Oh my god. I want the side of it. Are you kidding me? I feel like you have to be able to see both the points in order to be able to attach them. It looks like it was trying to attach the right one, but it's trying to attach it to the wrong bit because it's attaching it to the side of the ship, not the plank now. Ugh. Oh. Come now. Oh, for God's sake, I've just accidentally removed a barrel from somewhere. No, I haven't. I've spawned a new one into the world. Right, right, right. Is that right? No, because it's the that's the top notch, not the side one. How on earth did this get built in the first instance? Is there a way to control which nodule is being attached? See there, it's got, it's got hold of the right node, but it won't snap to the right places now. What, what was that? He's supposed to be attached to things. Oh god. Why would you... I hate this. I absolutely hate this building system. <laughs> I detest this with a passion now. What the heck? Get out of here. I don't want you anymore. Have a blue barrel. Blue barrel works better. Totally doesn't. I mean, ultimately, my goal here was to move everything up, so let's just try and... Let's just start from scratch. Blue tower plank, right. Roll it over. Attach one... here. Was it a plank, or was it a... That's too short, right? Or was it right? No, that's probably right. That might be alright. There are longer planks, though. The these these ones are, I think, longer. No, maybe not. Maybe it's just the width of them. Okay, so there's a bunch of those like that. It's still not very well distributed, is it? I can't, like, attach one in the midpoint here, so that's not going to work in that regard. Ugh. And if I can't do that, I'm not going to be able to get three barrels on. Let's try it. That totally didn't work. That's attached to the side of the ship. Maybe I'll be better off attaching it to the side of the ship, I don't know. Because I can see we're just going to be going around in circles again here. Also, I can't figure out how to roll it now. There we go, roll. Touch the plank! Oh my god. It's 
So my feedback to uh, Pop Cannibal on this one is, oh my god, this needs some work. This is literally not attaching to anything I want it to. Despite the fact that they were attached to it once upon a time. No, that's not what I wanted. Sideways, please. Touch the side bit. Oh my god. I give up. I kind of give up. I kind of. I don't want to do this anymore. Ah, last captain. Was that no? That was the big ship I built. Back to Kyle's Rock. Build. Build me another new Kyle's Rock. Oh no, because this is still Kyle's Rock, and it's just saved all the changes I've made. <laughs> I give up. No, I actually give up. That's the most frustrating thing in the world. I wanted to build a cool ship here, but every single change you make... I suppose I can control Z... Huh. I didn't even realize control Z was an undo, and of course... Friggin... Zyber told me it was before as well, and I completely forgot that it was. So all these things that I've been like, this has gone wrong. Control Z... Was that always there? I don't feel like that was always there. I guess once you've got a bit... Once you've got a bit in your hand, those... that... that... Con that control Z is not on the screen there. And most of the time I've just been wrestling with that. Oof. Okay. I mean, my bad on the control Z. I should have seen that. That would have been useful to know, but it's not my main frustration here. This... For some reason, trying to link nodes that are just not intuitive... I mean, trying to do depth perception with only two degrees of movement, just to say my mouse, the two axes of movement. Yeah, okay, that's difficult to get right. Um, which begs the question, is this the right way to do it? Is there a better approach to a building system? But I don't know why... Even, even if I can get the right nodes to be the one that's linked... He doesn't seem to want to link to the right... <laughs> yeah, could I do that? Maybe. I think I've tried that before and they don't actually attach to each other though. That's the problem with that. Ah, uh, I No, that's the top of the barrel again. See, the side of the barrel wants to attach to the side of the ship and the top of the barrel wants to attach to the plank, but... I can't get the side of the barrel to attach to the plank. He doesn't want to do that. Is there some rules governing that? Because that's not explained or understood. What have I done there? And then... <laughs> Just the, the, the sheer lack of depth perception is really frustrating because it's like, I feel like I'm lining it up up here and then you click it in place and it's like, no, it's actually attached to the underside of the ship. As frustrated as I must be, I mean, I imagine these systems must be, like, impossibly, impossibly frustrating to try and work with from a development standpoint as well, but... With your most respects, I did say it needs a lot of polish before Steam will receive it pleasantly. Another reason I've been seeing a few rough reviews on, on Steam. Also, I don't know what's going on with the audio. Now that I've got to building, the audio is just like, uh, 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 no, 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 no audio. Uh, no, not gonna work. Uh. It's just stopping, starting, cutting out. Which one is it? Is it this one? One of, one of these works. That one's, that one's marginally wider. Is it, is it simply because that, that... Is it because there's a plank that's like... Short blue plank, blue tower plank. Is it the short plank is like... Oh no. Control Z. Yes, okay good, I'm glad that's there. Is it literally the fact that the short blue plank is a couple of inches bigger than the tower plank? It's by the fact that they look almost identical. I'm thinking that is actually it, isn't it? 
It won't attach because there wasn't room to attach. Although what it's trying to attach to now is anybody's guess. Uh, right, like that? Okay. Like that. Like that. Oh, is this going to work now? Oh, this might work now, after all that. I'm not happy that there are friggin' structures in the game that look visually almost identical. Is this okay? Is that happy now? Oof, sort of. Okay. I can't put that on there now, though. I can put that on there. No, that's not right. There? That's, still, that's, that's attached to the top of the plank, not the bottom. And... Like that. Okay, so you can jam three in there, awkwardly. Okay, let's try and do that on the other side. Oh, they've gone on to the... Oh, no, they've done exactly what I didn't want them to do. There. There. Is these right? Yeah, they're all on the same level. That's good. Then I can bob the lifesavers in underneath further buoyancy. Like so. Okay, it's good and good and light, sort of. We try this. Uh ooh, uh. Okay, so we've got that issue again, again, of it's just falling apart for reasons that aren't immediately clear. Hey, my claws, oh, oh, my claws not opening, my claws removed. I think half of my claws still attached though. So if I just close this, Theory, we should just be able to go forever now. Woo! Engines! Hmm. Have I even kept the oh is it oh yeah, I think I think it I think it did dissolve the jellyfish, didn't it? Yeah, that, oh, that jellyfish is... No, it's still okay. No, it's... It, it's... Is it? I don't know. I don't know! I'm sick of ships that fall apart. Take me back to the menu, quick. I need to know if there are other things. Continue Vagabond Circle. What other, what other words are generated? Generate New World. Vagabond Circle, Storyteller's, te storyteller's Territory. What's this one then? Well, time. Does it just does it just generate a random name for you then each time? I'm not sure what the difference is because I've been playing this three-ish hours, which was that would check out with that. Yeah, we've been here about three hours. Uh, Storyteller's territory. Is this what I played last time? I only got to ring two or something. Maybe. Although pieces collected is 114 in both. How do I go back now?
That's gonna leave the game, isn't it? <laughs> you like, once you once you get to the world, it's like oh, I guess if you just selected a world, it would take you to the main menu. I don't know. Okay. Either way, what he seemed to be getting at there was that there was only one map. You could generate multiple worlds, but they always use the same map. It seemed to imply there were other maps. There were not. Okay, so where I'm at today is much the same as I achieved last time. Um, really frustrated at a lot of issues, including the fact that the game is seems really limiting. The build, the building is, the building does my head in. <laughs> Between things that don't attach, things that look like they should attach but don't attach, and it doesn't tell you why. In that regard, so if the planks are long enough, and if it doesn't fit, I don't know, maybe, maybe there needs to be a visual cue that says there is not enough room to put it here. That would that would certainly maybe clear that up a bit. Um, remembering Control z is undo at all times would be useful. I know that is on the screen, but I'm just, I don't know. That one didn't click for a very long time there. Uh, what else is there? Having the ship not fall apart for reasons that I can't fathom, in spite of the fact that they snap to other bits. Yeah, I would like the ships to stay together when they look like they are supposed to be together. If they're not attached, there should be some sort of obvious thing that says, this bit is not attached. Make sure it is attached. Um, I mean, just been playing Trailmakers a lot. Any bits that are not actually physically connected in Trailmakers, they've just put a little exclamation mark by it that says, dur -dur -dur check this bit out. If you try and use this vehicle, it will fall apart. It is not actually connected. If that is true in Make Sail, it is not abundantly clear. You, you just set sail and the, th the whole thing falls apart. Um, the game absolutely needs to get to more interesting sailing than it does within the first... I mean, I, I played that for three hours there and was still stuck going very, very slowly in spirals in and out, which takes a long time to get anywhere. And it's not a satisfying way to do things. <sighs> I, I hate that I come off so negative in this. I, in some ways, I hope it's constructive, but it feels negative. And I still am optimistic for this game, but I'm still not enjoying what I'm playing of it to a great degree. The lack of interesting sailing makes it frustrating. The lack of interesting gameplay makes it frustrating. It's just... Get to the next islands. They're further away than the previous ones. It's going to take you longer. Okay, you got them. Get to the next islands. They're even further away again. Oh, no, no. There's no interesting way to get there. You've just got to keep spiraling. And yes, they... Yes, there's the... You keep getting bits, which lets you build a bigger ship, I guess. But again, the building is frustrating because everything I build falls apart instantly. Other than the stock stuff, for some reason. But uh, there we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap that up there. So uh, thank you for watching. Anybody who has watched this, um, I think Zyber might watch this or something. So hi Zyber, if you watched that, leave me a comment or something to let me know you did. Um, I hope that wasn't too painful for you to watch. I hope you didn't watch all three hours of it, but I hope you got something useful out of it. Um, please tighten it up fast so that you don't just get ruined by the users of Steam. Uh, my, my concern has always been and will always be that if you release it on Steam when it's not really in a hey, this is a good game that I want to play and share with my friends kind of way, uh, people will just savage it. And uh, it's, the current Steam rating is mixed. That's not a good place to be standing, unfortunately. Uh, oh, well. So, thank you. Thank you once again. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to do productive things like sleep. So, uh, I shall bid you adieu there. Good night.